hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is Anulika Joy and to all of you that have subscribed thank you so so much for subscribing to the channel as you guys can see I'm walking home from school but yeah nevertheless I just said I should do this video and um, by the title of this video guys you know what we are about to um, do so it's another procedure video and um, I will make this one simple as always and yeah so guys let's just you know do the usual let's just dive right into the video and also leave anything you want to say in the comment section and yeah let's move into the procedure video so guys our first position is the high foul last position and here you can see that the head of the bed is elevated to 90 degree what is it used for it is used um, for patients who have problem exhaling during respiration and then um, patients who have undergone pneumonectomy they can also be put in this position so our next position is the Fowler's position. So the Fowler's position, the head of the bed is elevated to 60 degree. And it is also used to relieve breathing difficulty. One of the contradictions is that it is not used after a brain or spinal cord surgery. So that is one of the con contradictions we have. Then our next position is semi fowler's position. And here in semi fowler's position, the head of the bed is elevated to 30 degree. And it, is, and it can be used for patients who are on tube feeding. So guys, our next position is the supine position. And the supine position is um, also called the dorsal recumbent position and in this dorsal recumbent position what is it used for it is used to give comfort to the client and assessment of vital sign you can take your vital sign with this position it can also be used to do a head to toe assessment uh, whereby the head neck anterior thorax lungs heart breath breast all those things are examined and then the, peri the peripheral pulse also is examined. So guys, the next position here, as you can see, is the Trendelenburg position. And the Trendelenburg position is just a supine position with the feet higher than the head by 15 or 15 to 30 degree. So it is used for pelvic surgery, abdominal surgery, and it is also used to treat shock shock majorly so the next position is the reverse trendelenburg position and then the reverse trendelenburg position is just the reverse of the trendelenburg and it is a supine position with the head higher than the leg unlike the trendelenburg it is um the head higher than the um, it, unlike the Trendelenburg position, it is the leg higher than the head, but here it is the reverse. It is used for neck and head surgery. So we also have the lithotomy position. The lithotomy position, it is just a supine position with leg flexed, separated and supported with um, the legs are supported in a raised stirrups. As you can see, then um, what is this position used for? It is used for child bed. It is used for gynecological examination. As you can see, this is another type of um, lithotomy position to just get a clearer view. It is used for procedure involving the genital urinary system and assessment of the female genital and um, also the rectum. So the leg has to be held by um, a something like a stirrup or something like that. So guys, our next position is the lateral position. Um, the last for the lateral position, patients lie on side on their side with the 
support of a pillow at the head, uh, the uppermost leg, the arm, and sometimes the back. What is it used for? It is used to relieve pressure on bony extremities of the back and the sacral region. It is not to be used after a hip replacement and other orthopedic surgery. So if a hip replacement is done or other orthopedic surgery, you should not put the patient in a lateral position. So the other one we have is the left lateral position. And in this position, patient is placed on the left side to lie down. Patient uses the left side to lie down. This is used for giving enema and for inserting suppositories. It is also used to take rectal temperature and also for other rectal examination. So the next position we have is the knee chest position. And this knee chest position is also called the genopectoral position, whereby patients rest on the neck and chest with head turned to one side as you can see um, it is used for examination of the rectum and vagina and also for um, procedures like um, some sigmoidoscopy so guys a patient with arthritis or joint deformation is not supposed to lie on this position so our next position is the prone position Prone position, as you can see, a patient is um, lying with the abdomen and um, the arms are bent. You can either lie on pillows, as you can see, pillow on the head, on the abdomen and on the leg. So guys, this position is used for assessment of hip joint, posterior thorax and to give comfort to a patient it is also used when there are injuries like um, bone injuries or surgery to the back so for client after um, anesthesia it is used to prevent aspiration of saliva mucus or blood you don't use this position when clients have a respiratory or spinal problem Clients undergoing for abdominal surgeries, you also don't use this position, this prone position for them. So guys, our next position is the roses position. And as you can see, the patient is lying supine, but the head is hanging over the end of a table or the head is raised up. So it is used for... Um, Patients who are undergoing tonsillitis, adenoiditis, uh, yeah. So, it is used to prevent aspiration or swallowing of blood from an injured lips also. Next, we have the Sims position. It's, called the, it's also called the Sims lateral or left lateral prone position. And um, yeah, patient lies on the left side with the left thigh slightly flexed and the right thigh acutely flexed to the abdomen. The left arm is behind the body with the body inclined forward and the right arm is positioned according to how um, patient is comfortable. So this seems position, it is used when they want to do um, a vagina or a rectal examination. It is also used for giving enema. So it is needed also for um, a paralyzed or unconscious patient. So guys, the next is the jackknife position, jack knife position so basically in this um, position you guys know how prone position is then um, prone position is modified so this jackknife position is called the modified prone position and it is used for gluteal or anorectal procedures so guys the next position is the autonosis position 
and this position is comfortable for patients with um, heart failure when the patient is breathless or finds it difficult to breathe this position is used for them the patient is assisted to remain in position by the help of um, a foot support or a form of cushion or a pillow as you can see this help this helps to um, prevent bed sore which is caused by sharing force as um, patient slips down the bed a table is placed in front of patient with a pillow the pillow is used when the patient wants to lean forward uh, um, like when it's required and patient wants to lean forward the patient can also be able to lean forward and place head on the um, um the pillow